Okay, so how can we solve this question? The question is saying, given that y is equal to sec x plus tan x, prove the identity dy over dx minus y tan x is equal to 1. Okay, so we need to prove to say that this dy over dx minus y tan x has to be equal to 1. So how do we do that? Now, remember, we have been given the hint here to say the y value is sec x plus tan x. Now, first of all, we are supposed to find dy over dx. Okay, so meaning we are supposed to differentiate this function. So our function is y is equal to sec x plus tan x. Now, our goal is to differentiate this one. So it's going to be dy over dx is going to be equal to what is the derivative of sec? So the derivative of sec is sec x times tan x plus what is the derivative of tan? The derivative of tan is sec squared x. Okay? Now, this is the derivative of the function which we have been given. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this one with what I have there. Okay? So now, I can I can say that where there is uh, dy over dx, I'm, I'm going to put sec x times tan x plus sec squared x. Now, where there, here, I'm going to put y first, then I have what? Tan x. Now, the whole of this expression is supposed to give us 1. So let's see. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going just to say left-hand side. We are, we are proving left-hand side to say left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. So, I'm going to put left-hand side. Okay? Left-hand side. Actually, this is the first thing we are supposed to, to do. After writing the left-hand side, then bring the equation there. Okay? Now, this is the thing which we have come up with. Say x, tan x, then we have plus sec squared x, and then we have minus y. Now, we know that y is, we have been given where, what y is. So, where there is y, I'm going to say, here there is minus, so I'm going to put brackets. So, where there is y, we are going to put sec x plus tan x. Now, I've got what here, I've got tan x outside. Okay, then now I can distribute the tan x, which is outside there, I can distribute it in, inside. So I'm going to say that it's going to be um, sec x tan x plus sec squared x. Then I'm going to say, I can put them in brackets the way they are. So it's going to be sec x tan x plus tan squared x. Then I put that. So I can distribute the negative now. Distributing the negative, what are we going to have? We're going to have... Um, okay, we're going to have sec x tan x plus sec squared x minus sec x tan x minus tan squared x. So now from here, I can check that this guy and this one, they are the same. So they're going to be cancelled because we have got minus there. They're subtracting. So now what we are going to have is we are going to have sec x. We have got squared there minus tan squared x. Now, this is an identity. Maybe you don't know. This identity is giving us 1. But if you're not sure to say that identity is giving us 1, you can continue from there and say this. Okay? So that is what we have. Now let's continue from there. So what we have is, uh, um, okay, let me use white color. We have x sec squared x minus tan squared x. Now, if you don't believe to say this part here is going to give us 1, that is an identity which you should know. You can end from there. Or you can say, you know that uh, sec squared x is the same as 1 over cos squared x minus tan x, tan squared x is the same as sin squared x over 
cos squared x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the common denominator which is going to be cos squared x. So this cos squared x into that cos squared x is going to give us 1. 1 times 1 is going to give me 1 minus. This one same, so it's going to be cos squared x into cos squared x is going to give me 1. 1 times sine squared x, I'm going to get uh, sine squared x. Now we know that uh, sine squared plus sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to what? Uh, 1. So if I want to make sine squared as a subject of formula, then I can say that sine squared x is going to be equal to 1 minus cos squared x. So I can replace where there is sine squared x with 1 minus what? Cos squared x. So I'm going to have 1 minus open brackets 1 minus cos squared x. The reason why I'm putting the brackets is to avoid... Because that negative is going to affect everything inside. So here we have cos squared x. Then now I can distribute the negative. So we're going to have 1 minus 1. The negative negative is going to give me plus cos squared x. Here we have over cos squared x. So these are going to give us 0. So we're going to have cos squared x over cos squared x, which is going to give us what? 1. So this is how you prove it. Okay.